You guys want to see how easy it is to root hardwood cuttings of grapes? Check this out. All right, so we got all of our cuttings here and I decided to take some fat ones and some that are just a little bit skinnier than these just to see which one might root better. I tend to like these better. They take longer to root. They're a little slower going, but they've got a lot of reserved energy inside of them to root more assuredly. These guys are a little skinnier. They can dry out easier and it might be a little more fickle when it comes to rooting, but let's just give it a shot and see which one of these does better. Now I've also decided we're gonna do a couple different experiments here. We've got two different pots, we've got two different thicknesses of grape cuttings, and I thought, why don't we see if we can also get some to root with rooting hormone and some without. Now because we have five of each type of cutting, we're gonna have one of these containers with three of the fat cuttings and two of the skinny cuttings, and one of them with two of the fat cuttings and three of the skinny, so let's just make this delineation right now. The rooting hormone is going to go on these guys, the ones with three fat cuttings. In fact, to make this even easier, let's just put a little tag in the pot that got the rooting hormone. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is just water all these in. Now these are hardwood cuttings. It is April 8th today, so it's still pretty cool out. This is gonna change a little bit depending on where you're at and what your climate's like, but I'm gonna go put these on the north side of a building so no direct sun hits them and we've got plenty of overhead skylight and we're just gonna let these slowly wake up through the spring. Now when I say through the spring, I mean it's gonna take several months for these guys to get fully rooted in. We're not gonna do any bottom heat and we're definitely not gonna cover them. You don't need to cover hardwood cuttings, especially when you're rooting them outside when the weather is gonna slowly warm up because these are gonna start rooting slowly as the weather wakes up. So there we are on the north side of my pole barn where no direct sun will ever touch these guys. They'll just slowly wake up with the spring. Of course, if you live in Australia, New Zealand, the Southern Hemisphere, Southern Africa, places like that, then you're gonna be on the south side of a building. So now all we gotta do is just sit and wait. The real magic will take place over the next two months, but you guys are gonna get it right now. All right, so today is June 27th. So it's been a little over uh, two and a half months now. I've got my little buddies with me and we're gonna go check these out. There they are, our little grape cuttings all rooting out. I'm gonna show you something here in just a second. Let's get these up on the bench. And actually, we're gonna do this out here in the open where we got more room. So first of all, let's take a look at these guys. If you remember, we had the one pot right here with the white tag. That one was where we did the rooting hormone. And this one right here, we did no rooting hormone. So you can already see I mean, there it is. There's the one with the hormone. You can see the amount of green growth that's coming up on these guys. And I can tell you already, I've been watching them for a while. They actually were rooted a while ago, but they're really starting to put on growth now. Look at the size of that. You can see that the, the one with hormone is just doing a lot better versus this one right here that got no rooting hormone, still rooted. And you know, like I tell people, you can root these cuttings without hormone, but there's the results. You see it right in front of you. All right, now before we go any further, I do wanna say this was really just as an experiment. I had no intentions of keeping any of these grapes here, and I mixed up the varieties, have no idea which variety is which. That might have been helpful in learning something as well, but we didn't do that, so. I am going to pull these grapes out of here and show you these roots right now. I think my girls want to see the roots as well, and they're going to help me do that for you. And by the way, it is super hot right now. We are over 100 degrees. It was 105 yesterday. They're saying 113 tomorrow, so if you see us squinting a little bit, it is bright and hot right now. All right, so let's start with this one that didn't have any rooting hormone. And first of all, I want to show you guys, see if I can bring this up to you. Look at those pots. Roots, big 
fat, massive roots already pouring out the bottom of the pot. Let's go ahead and open these guys up and see what we got. You guys excited? Mm -hmm. All right, you wanna help me with this? So remember how we did this last time? I'm gonna have you hold on to these. Don't yank them individually, but just kind of hold on to the clump and we'll gently tease them out, okay? All right, go ahead and pull a little bit. Oh, there we go. Keep, keep holding on, there you go, there you go. This look at that. Any. Yep, let's talk about it. Let's take a look at them. All right, girls, so we're gonna learn something here, aren't we? So we've got the one that didn't have rooting hormone. And if we take a look at the first one, this is one of the fat cuttings here. It got absolutely no roots, no callus, nothing going on with that one. No green growth trying to start. So there you go. That's one of them, one of the fat cuttings. Here's the other fat cutting, and you can see it was actually calloused up like crazy right there. And it would have eventually started growing roots out of that site. That is just, I love that callus. It's and so cool growth. looking. Yep, we got new growth just starting over the last week or so. So this one would have actually rooted. We would have got something out of it, I'm sure. You can tell by the growth and the the uh, callus that we got there. Now, if I stuck this back in a pot, it'd probably root. But anyway, we're just kind of doing this to learn from it. So, okay, you girls want to start slowly just teasing those away. We'll kind of, you want to get in there, Emily? Go ahead and just slowly start teasing away the, you can gently... In fact, I wonder if I should get the water. No, I think we're okay here. I'll kind of help break it up a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. <laughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. That's cool, isn't it? Look at that. Okay, let's look at this one. Here's what, These are all the skinny ones now. And uh, you can see what we've got. Let's get some of the bark away from this one here. We'll get some bark away from this one so we can see those roots because that's what we want to see, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Let's look at this guy first. So you can see big fat roots on it. Now, I don't have any top growth yet. And nothing all the way up. But you can see a little bit of material right there just wanting to start to grow. And I think it would have grown. I mean, we've got good roots there. And you can see all that callus. Let's look at these guys. All right. Let's take a look at this fat one real quick here. Go ahead and hold that, Emily. So let's get that down where they can see it. And you can see... We've got all this green top growth. And once again, it's not really comparable to this one, but we've got plenty of top growth and it would have grown on into a nice little grape plant. And look at those masses of roots. Isn't that crazy? Look at all that. Crazy how much root growth came out of that thing. No rooting hormones. Let's look at this one right here. No rooting hormones, so it works. And once again, all we did was just stick these in a pot and just let them do their thing. Nothing special, no bottom heat. We didn't cover them. There you go, one more. We'll put this over here. That's what we got, no rooting hormone. We got one, two, three, and a fourth one starting. All right, let's push all this aside. We wanna get to the big sucker over here. All right, Allie, you wanna grab that again? And I will hold on to, actually, let me set the camera up. All right, I'm gonna hold on to this, and you just kinda gently I'll squeeze it a little bit. This one's harder. Oh. There we go. Look at that. More roots. That's pretty cool. That was the one. That was uh, just to show it had rooting hormone. So let's get the camera and look at this. You guys can go ahead and start teasing that apart. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at those masses of roots, man. So here we go. We got we got the first one. This is a fat cutting, and this is the one with uh, three fat cuttings in it. And this one rooted really well. It probably would have started growing. I don't see any green growth on it. But a lot of times with these fatter cuttings, they take a little more time to uh, start putting on green top growth. But there's a good rooted one. Not as much callus there. Let's take a look at this. This is this is Emily's right here. What do you think? Awesome. That, yeah, it's a big fat cutting, isn't it? Look at that. Look at all those roots, man. And look at all that callus. Should we rinse this one off? Sure. Wouldn't yeah. that be cool? Let's rinse it off and we can show it to him here in a second. Let's 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 look at these guys first, though. So there's what we got with the rooting hormone cutting. So we've got a massive amount more roots. Here's the ones without hormone. They're all piled up. Two of them didn't root. One of them was probably going to start rooting. The leaves aren't as uh, developed yet, and the top growth isn't developed. The roots are they're pretty good roots, but if you compare them to these... 
these guys have tons of massive roots and then we've got lots of healthy top growth going on so the rooting hormone did help I mean, we could do more experiments uh, in the future here and see if we can kind of narrow things down with variety, but I think we've got pretty good results here. Now, one thing that I want to show you on this, every single one of these rooted, whereas only three of these rooted and one started growing callus, every single one of these rooted with the rooting hormone. And then there's no growth on this one yet. That's the only one that doesn't have growth, but I'm sure it would have at some point. All right, guys, there they are, all washed up. Look at those massive roots. Isn't that so cool? I love seeing those roots. I never get tired of it. These things did so awesome. In fact, let's show you one little aspect of it. Or actually, look at this one. Look at the massive roots on that one. Isn't that cool? I love these grapes. Look how it's splitting. Those roots are splitting out of the wood there and just pouring through. Man, I love that. Isn't that cool, girls? What do you think? You excited? I love seeing this stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something from it. Remember, we just took the cuttings in the late winter, stuck them in a pot, did nothing with them, and just left them to be. And now, I know I'm going to get this one question about, hey, Mike, you have a greenhouse. We don't have one. How do we root these cuttings? Well, you don't need a greenhouse. You can set these anywhere as long as the direct sun isn't blasting on them and they will root. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week. And I'll see you in the next video. You want to do it, buddy? Adios.